got another question on why I don't show my husband in my vlog and that's because he's not interested in YouTube at all. He's not he does not interested. He doesn't even want to be in my video. He's not uh, no interest zero interest. So and I I wouldn't want to force somebody to come and do something that they don't want to do that and that's the only reason. And hey guys, how you doing and welcome back. Welcome back. I'm so excited because this is like my first ever q and I've made myself a green um green smoothie and i've just added some pomegranates um and i've just added some pomegranates on top of it the kids are currently on half term so i'm just literally this is i i, I know that if i don't film this answer now if i don't film my q a now i don't know when i'm gonna get to film it during this week so i thought i would film this q a so let me go to the questions ooh, ooh, ooh. right i'm gonna be looking from my phone thank you to everyone that actually asked me a question i'm very very grateful Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, hey. Well, the first one was the the first one isn't really a question. It just says um, video ideas, labor stories for each child, how you found out you were pregnant for each child, and how you got engaged. Okay, I bear that in mind. Um, okay, the next question is, hey Mon, I was wondering, is your Nigerian husband vegan as well? And the answer to that is no, um, he has no interest in this, what? Sorry guys, I paused like my video but the, the thing is moving, anyway. He has no interest in this uh, whole like not eating meat thing. And I wouldn't really say I'm a vegan, the only thing I don't do is like, I would say I'm more plant based because a vegan wouldn't still cook meat or touch meat, like I, I'm not like a hardcore vegan, yeah he's not interested in it. Yeah, so no he's not. <laughs> um... Oh, and for anyone else that's wondering, my kids are not vegan or plant-based either. I don't really feel like it's fair to force it on them. I would, I would, I would rather they make their own choices when, you know, when they can understand, you know. I don't think it's fair for me to, like, enforce. Like, imagine if I forced them and made them not eat meat and then they grow up and they're like, oh, this is what we've been missing out on, for example, and they try meat for the first time and they think, oh my god, look what this woman did to us. I don't know. Am I thinking? No, yeah, but yeah, no, they're not. Um the next question is have you continued using the aloe vera your face looks so much clearer now yes i do use aloe vera on my face nightly if i miss a day then i'll do it in the morning but i do do that and i do like the spirulina mask as well like on occasions maybe once a week but i've noticed that whenever it's like coming towards the time of the month my skin does act up a bit but yes i have continued using aloe vera and oh thank you very much the next one the next question is can you speak your native language and do you speak it to your kids what gets you motivated to do your exercise when was the last time you traveled to nigeria so like this is like three questions in one can i speak my native language yes i can i can speak it very very well do i speak it to my kids yes i do um when i'm off camera i mainly speak yoruba unless i'm speaking to like my friend who's not yoruba but in the house we speak yoruba you know yeah we, we speak i speak yoruba very very well and what gets you motivated to do your exercise exercise for me if you guys know it's like a mental thing um it helps me i feel good mentally when i work out because like you know i'm somebody that overthinks a lot and i think exercising is something that i can do like you know i guess we all have something that we do like i don't know what do you guys do when you're stressed or feeling down or having a bad day i would love to know but me personally one of the things i like to do is exercise then go for a walk and sometimes i like to listen to podcasts or maybe i don't know but exercise is definitely up there with one of the things that i do when i'm feeling you know and actually no like it's, it's like exercise would be my go-to when i'm feeling down but then even when i'm feeling happy i, I would still exercise anyway i don't know um i guess it's helped me a lot mentally it's like it's, it was it, exercise has been my savior so that's why i've continued to do it i guess um when was the last time you traveled to nigeria the last time i went to nigeria was when oh the sun is coming in i'm so sorry guys oh no the last time i went to nigeria i think i was 16 or the last time I went to Nigeria, I think I was 16 or 18, 16. It's been a long, long, long time. And to be honest, I don't plan on going anytime soon because, you know, so many things have happened. And yeah, I, I'm I'm not really feeling like going. Um, Question, next question. This is from Ruby Suze. I think she has a YouTube channel as well. 
um it was like a comment the question is how are the dolls coming along if you guys don't know i have um the african inspired dolls that i'm selling um to be honest it's it's i just need to finalize the whole shopify sh shopify i need to finalize oh no guys i'm gonna move a little bit like this okay okay i'm gonna move back i think this is better now i just need to finalize the whole shopify thing i'm really struggling with the shopify um, I just need to finalise the whole Shopify thing and I'm hoping that I can put it on Shopify. But let's just, let me just tell you this. Um, a lot of people think like when you first start a business. And the thing is, I'm not really like a business. I, I don't think I'm a business person. Um, this is probably the brokest I've ever been starting something. Like, I, I can't explain it. Like, a lot of people would think that when you start a business, you're going to be rich and in money. No. Like, I'm broke, I'm broke, 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 brokey, brokey. For real, for real. Um... The next question is, what are your favourite products as a mom of three or are there some items that just make life easier with your busy lifestyle? Um, to be honest, like one thing I've learnt like, since becoming a mom is to just keep everything simple and everything as, not, I wouldn't say as cheap as possible, but just keep things simple. There's no point over complicating things. Like for example, I use olive oil to moisturise my kids. Olive oil that you can get from like any shop as the Audi and stuff like that. I don't have like a particular like holy grail product, but one thing I will say is I've just learnt to keep everything simple. Like in the beginning I used to like over complicate everything, but now just keep it simple. The most important thing, like happy kids happy kids the most important thing for me personally is to just make sure that my kids are happy so yeah that i i don't have like a specific go-to product because i am very very simple we are we are very very simple in this house like very very simple i, I don't know i hope i hope it helps and i guess that makes it easier for me because then i don't have to overthink too much when it comes to looking after them i don't know yeah i hope that make that that makes sense yeah i think it does see this is me talking to myself in my head again um next question are you going to extend your family and how is hubby getting on with the new job year ago i believe lastly do you plan and execute oh do you plan and execute date night okay oh this is from silver lady of east london thank you very much <laughs> for asking me a question um okay how's he getting on the new job oh this job is he's had this job for a long time now but you know in life how can i put this the best way in life sometimes you have to do certain things that you don't like just so that you can survive and i'll say that's the current situation we're in right now you know i think when your kids are very very young there's only so much you can do like you know you there's only so much you can do because something has got to give and that's what i've learned i've had to learn that the hard way something like in in the realistic world something has to give unless you have a lot lot like a lot a lot of help something has to give so I don't think he likes his new job, but it pays the bills, um, unfortunately. <laughs> um, lastly, uh, da, 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 do you plan and execute date night? In regards to the date night, that is, com I think us planning it and executing it is my fault. I'm not really into date nights and stuff like that. I would rather sit at home and watch a Nigerian movie on Aquata TV Plus, Yoruba Hood, OK TV, and like and cook and do that i'm not really into going like I, i'm not really into that so i guess that's why we don't do date night but i know if i was into it then we probably would do a lot of date nights but i'm i'm not no nah, i'd rather be at home you know and watch a movie i know that's bad i'll, I'll work on it <laughs> um uh, da, 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 da. okay i would love to see some videos about being a mom something like a mommy routine of how you get the kids ready in the mornings or tips about having a baby you see when i read this i was laughing because i couldn't tell you like what i did <laughs> to get pregnant apart from doing the do but you know i i don't know like i can't tell you that oh i put my leg this way and then that's how i got pregnant because i honestly i would not know i i would not know what do mums need to survive the first few years what have you learnt? what do mums need to survive the first few years your sanity just make sure whatever you do you are sane <laughs> your sanity is very very important and like i said before just keep things as simple as possible don't over complicate things and the most important thing is that you have happy children or a happy child 
you're not going to get everything right the first time there's so many things i probably could have done better when i had my first child but you learn as you go and also everybody's routine is different so like i can tell you my routine now but it might not work for you that's what i think anyway and in regards to filming a money uh, in regards to filming a mummy morning routine that would be crazy our mornings are crazy because you know it's just me and them in the mornings so it is hectic like literally it's go 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 so i don't know how i would feel the only way i can film that is maybe when we're not actually doing anything that day then i could probably film a mommy morning routine but our mornings are i can't even it's a disaster <laughs> it's it's yeah it's go 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 anyway next question will you move because you have a family of five and two rooms do you know how expensive houses are in england and london my dream is to move i ask myself that question every day like when will we get a bigger place and stuff like that but to be honest i ask myself that question every day like when will we get a bigger place but you see this place the way we got this place is a miracle so i'm always forever grateful for where we are but you know one day hopefully where's the wood touch wood of course i would love to move and get a bigger place but the housing market is not for the faint-hearted and is not a joke so hopefully of course i would love to move um but it's just not happening right now because houses are not cheap <laughs> it's a hard it's it's a hard it's, it's hard out there it's it's hard out there it is hard out there i'm sure you can relate what was it like growing up in nigeria and being away from parents this question is very triggering this question is very triggering for me because i feel like um that part of my early childhood has really had an impact on how i am as an adult because so many things happen that you know i don't think i don't think i'll ever i think the thing is i like to think i'm an open book as in i'll, I'll happily discuss like i don't mind talking about my life and stuff like that just because you know everybody's fighting the battle that we know nothing about right so sometimes sharing your story could help somebody else and that kind of thing but then we've like one thing i'm learning about social media is that you've then again you've got to be a bit careful with what you talk about because i would hate for me to talk and then it comes around and bites me in the back and i am a fragile human being um you know i i, I, I am a fragile human being and i'm not ashamed to admit that so i'm very very careful with what i share if that makes sense but i had a very traumatic um childhood and because of that you know it 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 it, it, it um it was hard growing up without my parents it was it was very very hard you know it's it wasn't it's, it's a time that i don't even like to think about it's like it's a time that i like to block out of of my um childhood and i think that's why i am the way with my kids today like i don't want to leave them or you know i feel like if i leave them for too long i start feeling bad and stuff like that because of all the stuff um that happened to me as a child if that makes sense um da, 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 da. another question is how do you prepare for the fall season i don't really prepare we don't like i said we're a very simple family we don't i don't do anything i don't get pumpkins and actually to be honest i did contemplate um getting some pumpkins during this half term for us to decorate then i thought oh i might if, they, if they're on sale because i did see some pumpkins for a pound so i might just buy them and then like, maybe we'll paint it but we don't really do anything like that you know we, we don't we don't we don't really we don't prepare apart from just make sure that the we've got our jackets and coats ready for when the weather do, does drop but apart from that like if you mean like decorating the house no we don't really do nothing um oh your skin is flawless <laughs> thank you very much i mean i i in regards to my skin i tr i really try to work hard on and you know when it ooh, when it comes to your skin as well you definitely have to look at what you're eating like as long as using products for your face you also have to look at what you're eating and sometimes i think genetics may play a part as well i don't know you know i, I don't know when it like when it comes to my skin i try my best to work hard at it because i don't wear makeup so i'm just trying to maintain uh, i don't know i don't even know i just I, I try my best when it comes to my skin ow ow I hope you guys got a little insight into me a bit more um you know oh ah, 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 i got pins and needles i've got really bad pins and needles oh i hope this gave you an insight into who i am a little bit more um and maybe one day like i i, I actually did say to my friend show me that one day i would love to do like a tell all is that what it's called because i i, I believe that like 
I don't know one day I would love to you know tell you guys like my real story and you know maybe how I am the way I am I feel like it can definitely help somebody like that because I'm on a journey to be a the better version of myself anyway i'm going off on a tangent there anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this q a thank you very much for watching and thank you very very much for even asking me questions i am when i saw the questions coming in, i was like yay you know I, I was happy so thank you very much and see you guys in my next video bye